the beauty about watching Arsenal right now is that anybody in the team can score. Yeah, man. Tell me, man. I mean, uh, the Premier League is back, as we said earlier on. Mm -hmm. uh, but actually, we've, we've had a good run of late. So, I mean, looking, looking at the looking at uh, the game that I'm playing tomorrow with Leeds, we're basically looking forward to the same consistency. Uh, we're coming from international break. Uh, we had a few injury scares. You know. Those Thomas Party, Thomas Party being, being injured, and then there was this, this idiot from Man City, man uh, who actually Rodri, Rodri. Rodri. Uh, he, he was he wanted to break Odegaard's, Odegaard's leg. leg. Yeah, and and that good. was an intention of that was an intention of by the slide. I and mean, yeah, yeah, I mean, and it was a very dangerous. That is a career ending, career ending tackle. Yeah, and yeah. It's, it reminds me more of like uh, the Ramsey injury that uh, he got from uh, Stoke City. Mm -hmm. Well. That's the same kind of you know slid challenge, yeah. yeah it was same. it was ugly to watch, you know. It was ugly to and watch. Then coming from a Man City player, yeah, you start to question the motives. Tell me, it. I remember we were having this argument actually earlier on. Yeah, and thing is this, I I we I remember me mentioning that uh, some actually Pep had something to do with it because mm -hmm. it doesn't make sense. I mean, look at it. Yeah, <laughs> it's a Man City even, player. Even, even, even me, you know, if I think about it, yeah. You may say this is like a uh, conspiracy, but then there's no conspiracy when the people involved in the in the, in this ordeal mm -hmm. are all rivals. You know, all Rodri rivals, yeah. is from Man, Man City. City, and then you know the tackle was now one. Of, oh, I think he's not, if not the best, is one of the best. He's been one of the best players this season. Yeah. In the in the EP, in the in the Premier League, you the know, Premier League, yeah. and that tackle was very ugly, and he was not even. It was not even carded. There was, was not no even penalty. penalty given, you know. So, and then even in the game versus uh, this the Spain versus Scotland game, yeah. He Jama bada lileta tieni mbio mbaya. Yeah. So I mean, you know, you get to question things. You know, it raises it raises eyebrows. Actually. Yeah, it does raise eyebrows. But anyway, thank God. I mean, Odegaard is, is okay. He's okay. Tomorrow we go with Tomorrow him. We go with him. Yeah. So I mean, Leeds. When you play them actually away. So tell me. Yeah, going into Leeds, uh, going to face Leeds tomorrow at home mm -hmm. and coming from a four game winning streak. Mm -hmm. uh, what is your expectation? So the thing is this, uh, like I was saying earlier on, uh, Leeds really gave us a hard time when we're playing them uh, away. Mm -hmm. uh, we've actually had a very good run. You know, there was a time we thought that uh, playing at home, you know, <laughs> yeah. skeptical about yeah. us, you know. We, are, we, we felt like the away games actually were doing very well in the away games. Yeah, and, actually you know. that's true. We've done we have done very well in the away, away games. We yeah. have more clean sheets in away games than mm -hmm. actually home games. Yeah, yeah. But uh, okay. But then we are in a good run, you know. Four We're in a good run. Beaten. Four games and beaten. And approaching leads, you yeah. know, which has not been uh, the leads we knew yeah. from the times of uh, Bielsa. Yeah. The, the season though they they have like they have had three coaches they have a new one gracia and uh, he's not doing badly off but then you know uh, if you look at it this way that we'll be home we can say that we will be in our fortress you know the emirates is becoming kind of a fortress like the anfield mm -hmm. the, the atmosphere is very positive the Please, noise is very let, let, let high you do realize you asked me a question, then you you ended up answering the question yourself. So <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, it's okay. So the thing is this, anyway, you said it, you said it all. But uh Leeds has a couple of injuries. One mm. of the key players uh known to known to known is actually I don't think and even be, Tyler Adams. Yeah, he won't be in for the game. Mm -hmm. So that's a plus for us. But I mean respect to them, you can't really write any team off. These teams that are in relegation actually tend to give us a really hard mm. time. You saw what happened with Bournemouth uh, the last time, you know. Yeah. We wrote them off. And, you know, they gave us a hard time. So very hard time. We are a place where you know it's a game, one game or one game at a go. Mm -hmm. But uh the thing is this every game has to be treated as a final. Mm -hmm. Because the plan here is to win the league. Is to win the league. <laughs> <laughs> the plan is to win the league. So you no know, underrating any team. You uh, have to give all your all and you have to play each and every game as a final. So mm -hmm. looking at it, I don't think it's going to be an easy game. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm looking forward actually, you know, this guy is giving the all. Saliba ex uh, expected to miss tomorrow's game. Yeah. And uh, Holding is going to play in his position. Mm -hmm. 
having been so good in the game versus Crystal Palace, yeah. Uh, can you tell me who has the holding Kesho Kucheza your position and okay. uh, what do you expect him to do? You know, sometimes he's a bit shaky, but then uh, he gave a, a Maldini tonight, a Holdini masterclass. You know, <laughs> you know Maldini was a, a legendary Italian yeah. center back, yeah. and we have Holdini right now, <laughs> even the hair maker, Sayo Banda maker, Maldini masterclass there. So the thing is this, to answer your question, Rich, um, he played very well when you know when he played against Crystal Palace. Mm -hmm. is I think right now, I don't think any player is willing to know. Right now, each and every player in the Arsenal squad is willing to give 100%. Yeah. There's no room by there for mediocre, there's no room for you know slacking, there's no room for being lethargic. So I think all he's actually going to do his job. Well, he gets rough at times, but you know, that's his role as a defender. And uh, to answer your question, I think he's going to do very well. If what we just ask for him from him is to play the same way actually played versus Crystal Palace. Yeah. Yeah. So I think he's going to do well. So I'm not really worried much about you know his Saliba's position. Yeah. Yeah. I don't even mean. I, I think. I here. think. I think that is a great response because uh, without Saliba, I think Holding will do the job yeah. and he will do well. Uh, we just hope that Saliba will be fit for Liverpool. <laughs> <laughs> hey man. Yeah man. Yeah, we're going and to then, watch uh, uh, upon Bele, uh, Bele who do you expect to play? Do you expect Jesus Jesus to start over Trossard or do you expect Martinelli to go to the bench such that Trossard plays and Jesus? What do, what do you expect so let me say from uh, Ateta tomorrow? Let me say it is Ateta. Mm -hmm. I really can't say what he's going to do, mm -hmm. but I think this is a time to now unleash Jesus. This is a time to now unleash yeah. Jesus. I also think the same. I also think, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think this is a time to unleash Jesus because looking at the game he played uh, last time, he's fit. He's fit. So why not play him? Yeah, he's 100% fit. He's 100% fit. Actually, and he gives well. it all. Yeah, he gives it all. He gives 100%. Mm -hmm. He gets back the ball. Mm -hmm. So I think he's fit. So at Tata, man, if you're listening to, to if you're listening to Kenya Goodness TV, this yeah. is the time you need to unleash. You need to unleash Jesus. You need to warm up his feet to chase those Liverpool defenders next weekend. <laughs> because we need to give them hell. We need to give them hell. Yeah, and then Even we need they that. have this notion that mm -hmm. this is Anfield. Yeah. And Anfield is actually never an easy place to go to. But you uh, know, the good thing man, is that Anfield this season, beaten by Brighton. But the thing is this, as much beaten as by say, Leeds. Li listen to this. <laughs> the small teams have have they, they they've mastered probably they they've they figured out actually how to beat these guys at Anfield. But the big teams is the way in which <laughs> the system <laughs> is set up. You the know, system is set up. Problem. Yeah, yeah, that's a that's problem. Very true. You saw these guys did to Manchester United. These yeah. guys tear this they tear the beat man new four goals. <laughs> Four goals, they were seven. <laughs> seven nil. They beat. Yeah, they beat Man U. Oh, okay. Yeah, um, uh, I thought we were on on Gelea game. We are Brighton. No, 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 no. And no, then no. Liverpool. Yeah, Liverpool yeah. beat Man U seven. Look how they've done to the Wikim big team. Zima. Yeah. One, two, three, four, yeah. five, six. Hey, we're drinking, drinking. Yeah, we're drinking seven, <laughs> seven up the whole week. I mean, all <laughs> seven aside. <laughs> Every day. I remember, I remember, yeah, I remember that time. That's that's when we were Kenya Sevens also playing sevens. Mm -hmm. So I mean, it was a whole seven, <laughs> seven thing. Seven to a seven thing, yeah. Yeah, so we actually need uh, Jesus to actually come in this game, you mm -hmm. know, get his game, you know, get get uh, get his feet warm and whatnot. Mm -hmm. to prepare for the Liverpool game because, mm -hmm. like you said, Liverpool going to Anfield is never an easy place to go to. So, to answer your question, yes, I think this is the time and Teta needs to unleash Jesus. And then, you know, uh, one thing I I, have, I, 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 I saw, yeah. Trossard has been on, in, on form too. You know, even if he can get to, yeah, even though he was going to, like, even though, let's say, supposedly, yeah. Trossard uh, comes on as a substitution, can be a super sub. For someone who has come, who has been on form, yeah. he assisted two goals in two he's games he's adjusted for Belgium. He's adjusted to the team so to well. the team and yeah. he's experienced, he's good with the ball on his feet. Mm -hmm. So I think even Jesus starting, it will be good and then it will be good when you know, when if you sub Jesus off and then you, you have a stronger, keep the fire burning, keep you the fire bring burning. another Keep on adding the wood to the fire. Yeah. Yeah, so I think we have good depth right now. We have very good depth. So the thing is this, this game, we have to win it. But uh, injury scare, what do you expect? Do you think that he's going to start or do you think he was just... You know, I've seen sources say that uh, he's not actually that injured. Mm -hmm. They so will assess him over time mm -hmm. and they might be expected to start tomorrow. But then they will assess him before the game mm -hmm. to confirm if he can start or not. Or not. All right.
Yeah. I don't know, man. Uh, okay, it's an injury scare. We don't know exactly the, you know, we don't know the position he's in right now. But I think it's an injury that he should be able to shake off. Jorginho mm -hmm. uh, starting. Jorginho <laughs> is good. He's good with the ball. And then when the problem, you know, the problem with Jorginho, yeah. when you play a team like Leeds, yeah. you know, Leeds, they, those people run. Hey. They run. <laughs> they run the whole game. And you have someone who is slow like Jorginho. It becomes a problem, you know. Let me tell you and one for thing. For the position he's playing in, yeah. we need someone with quick feet. Quick feet. Somebody yes. is able to, you know, get the ball back. Mm -hmm. And I think... I hope we really don't know what to say, but we hope Pate, Pate shakes, shakes the injury he has mm -hmm. and uh, plays tomorrow. Because, like you said, we need somebody. Leeds is actually, if you look at those guys play, those guys they run, they run, run those guys are hard run. 90 minutes, the whole 90 no minutes. resting. Just be rest, I show you be running the whole time. Yeah. So, like you said, Eugenio with the ball is very good. Off, Off the, the ball, ball man, mm -hmm. something is, he no, doesn't no, run, he's good. not quick. So, I think, I hope Pate is start tomorrow's game. Yeah, yeah, I'm also hoping that even even let's say if Pate starts and then he starts off, mm -hmm. they can do this. If Pate starts, our players they make sure that we score like four goals yeah. or three, mm -hmm. and then just now this yeah, yeah we just finish the game early, mm -hmm. and then even if we make our substitutions now we can give game time to Jorginho, we can give game time to uh, uh, any of Trossard, any of them will be out there. Yeah, Rhys Nelson, you know, yeah. Vieira. KT. KT, yeah, we give game time to those guys. Yeah, yeah they, they yeah. keep warm. You know, they still have that confidence. Yeah. So for such a game, it will, it will not be easy. But then if we go and beat them in the first half with a mm -hmm. good margin, I think we can make some substitutions. Yeah, we can make some subs. Now we give game time to others. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. So man, uh, tomorrow, uh, five, 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 five p.m. is that? Is What is your match prediction for tomorrow? Oh, match prediction. Oh, sorry, sorry. Match prediction. Um, predicting. Uh, <laughs> the last time I predicted, you predicted Bournemouth for me. <laughs> and that's when they really gave up the hat. Actually, <laughs> six nil. You predicted six nil. Said six nil. <laughs> <laughs> so the thing is this: for tomorrow's game, let me predict three nil. Yeah, I predict 3 nil. That's a good prediction. Yeah, so in your prediction? Even me, I'll go for 3 nil. All right. Saka to score, uh -huh. Martinelli and Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, those yeah man, Jesus, you need to score, man. It's but been then, a long time coming, man. Uh -huh. You need to make it. You yeah, need to score. Yeah, you need to score, actually. Yeah, yeah. So, but then with this team, anybody can score. Yeah, anybody can score. That's the thing. That, you know, that's, talk, let, me just, let me just talk about this. The beauty about watching Arsenal right now is that anybody in the team can score. Everybody has everybody. a goal or a assist. Exactly. And that so, is beautiful. Yeah, that's a very, very beautiful game. So the thing is this, uh, tomorrow we'll be live the game here at Kenya Gunas TV. Catch us live 5 PM. from 5 p.m. Kenyan yeah. time. Yeah. And let's have a party. Let's have a party. If you're new here, ensure you like, share, subscribe. subscribe yeah. See you on the next one. Yeah, come on you Gunas. Uh -huh.